What's up YouTube? This is LizardJ21 here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 semi-tethered using Red Snow 0.9.10 B8B. So iOS 5.1.1 was just released today, and while I still encourage you to stay on iOS 5.1 or 5.0.1, there is still a jailbreak for those of you who have already upgraded. In order to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1, you will need Red Snow. Links will be in the video description for your convenience. You will also need your iPhone 3GS or iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3G, 4G, or iPad 1. A5 devices and A5X devices are not supported with this jailbreak. You will also need your USB to 30 pin dock connector cable, your Mac or Windows based computer, as well as an iOS 5.1 IPSW. First things first, let's back up our device by plugging it into iTunes and right clicking on it and choosing backup. Once that is complete, go ahead and quit iTunes and launch Red Snow. Click on Extras, then click on Select IPSW. Go ahead and specify your iOS 5.1 IPSW file. If you have an iPhone 3GS, make sure you know if you have a newer or older model. Now go back and click the jailbreak button. Red Snow will need to download some data prior to proceeding. Once that is complete, go ahead and slide to power off your device in preparation for DFU mode. Press next, then hold the sleep button for 3 seconds, then hold the home and sleep button for 10 seconds, then continue to hold the home button, but release the sleep button. Once that is complete, the jailbreak exploit will begin. Sit tight since this process takes a while. Once the exploit is complete, you will see if you try to launch Cydia, it will crash on load. This is because this is a tethered jailbreak, so we need to launch Red Snow once more. Specify the same IPSW again. This time, however, click on the Just Boot option in Red Snow. This process will take you through DFU mode once more. Once your device has booted up again, now we need to install the semi-tethered exploit from Cydia. Launch Cydia and navigate to the Manage tab. Tap on Sources, then tap on Edit, then Add. Go ahead and add the semi-tether source. Once that has finished adding, go into that source and tap on the semi-tether. Go ahead and install and confirm that. Once that is complete, you will be successfully jailbroken on a semi-tethered exploit. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.